This is a quick start session of the product feature opcwpf.net that's used to create Windows Presentation Foundation applications using opcsystems.net software. You can use Microsoft Visual Studio 2010, 2008, Expression Blend 3, or Expression Blend 4. If you are using Visual Studio 2008, make sure you watch our more detailed video on WPF.net to find how to get the design DLL for the 2008 version into the program installation opcsystems.net. First we'll create a new WPF application under File, New. Select Project and select a WPF application. Specify your application name and click OK. Into any window or any grid, you can drag an OPC WPF control. Let's start with the OPC WPF label control. If you do not yet have the items in your toolbox, right click on the toolbox and select Choose Items and select all of the OPC WPF controls. Let's take the OPC WPF label, drop it into the window, right click on the label and select Properties. The property to change the text of the label is called Content. So we'll go to Content underscore tag, select the Browse button to the right, and select the service that you want to bring the data from. If it's on a remote application, you may want to include an IP address or network node name or registered domain name in the tag name. We'll select the signal ramp to value. Another commonly used control of OPC WPF is a button. We'll take a button control and draw it into the form of the size we would like it to be. Select the properties of the button. First, let's set the background color of the button with the background1 underscore tag. Let's define that to the tag pump with the parameter value. When it goes to true, it'll be green. When it's false, it'll be red. And when it's bad quality, unable to get a value from the OPC server, it'll be yellow. We can change these to a little bit nicer look. We'll use the gradient colors. Next we want to change the value of the pump when you click on the button. We'll go down to the set value property and specify that tag. Here we can either toggle the current value, set it to true or false, or use any of the dialog interfaces that are available for a button. Let's drop a circular gauge onto the window. The radial gauge is scalable. Let's move our button so we can have a little bit more room here. With the gauge control, what we'll do is we'll define the value property to an analog signal. Here we see the value underscore tag property. Again, using the browse window, we'll connect it up to an analog signal. We'll connect it to sign 2. That has a range that goes from 0 to 100. Now we're ready to build and deploy the application. Let's just test it in debug mode to see what the values are. There we see the values in the window. We have the label that's updating with the analog value. The pump is currently on, so the background color of the button is green. If we click on the button, it'll change to red. We've turned the pump off, and we see the gauge needle changing with the analog signal. If you'd like to see a live running example of what all the controls are and what each of the properties are possible, Select under the program group opcsystems.net and select the WPF example application. From the menu at the top, select controls and you can then view any of the particular controls that you might want to use. For example, with the buttons, you can change the color of a button, flash it, change the content, change the opacity based upon an analog or discrete signal, rotate it, scale it, skew it, and of course have it be interactive when an operator clicks on the button. All of the controls have very common properties to this. Here's an example of using a media element to display a vid live video and being able to control the speed playback of the video based upon an OPC item, change the opacity of the video, rotate it, scale it, skew it, any particular property that you would like to do. 
You can also create 3D applications with OPC WPF. Here's an example of a 3D model where we can turn the pump on and then take a closer look at any of the aspect ratios of the screen. From the control panel we can open the valve and begin filling the tank. This is simply changing the camera position within the WPF application for the model. WPF applications are also extremely scalable. Here we have a graphic and we can make the graphic as small as we'd like and everything stays in proportion. You can click on the pump, open the valve, WPF applications can also run as a smart client. From our website at opcsystems.com, from the main page you'll find an online demos link. When you select this, you can run a WPF smart client, and that is connected to an internet server in Texas. So anywhere in the world you can display and control data from that system hosted on the internet. If you have any questions about opcwpf.net, visit us on the web at opcsystems.com. There you'll find more detailed training videos on this product and other product features, and also our contact information at opcsystems.com.